there, I'm Felicia, co-owner and co-founder at Compass Land USA, your go-to resource for great deals on rural and vacant land. Today, we are going to look at the pros and cons of land investment in Colorado. Investing in Colorado land can be a great way to boost and diversify your portfolio. It's a fairly low maintenance and hassle-free way to increase your assets and overall wealth. So we're gonna look at some of the pros and cons of land investment in Colorado. Land investment is oftentimes overlooked. However, it can be an excellent asset to any real estate portfolio. If you want to begin your investment journey, add to a portfolio, or find some smart ways to diversify, land can be an excellent way to go. So let's start with the pros, low cost. Land is cheap in comparison to other types of investments. Many people will find they only need to save up for a couple of months in order to generate enough cash to buy a lot, especially in rural parts of, Car of Colorado. This opens the door to many people who want to begin investing, but weren't sure how to get their foot in the door. If you want to find the right property, you can buy low, sell it off or develop it and use the profits for an even larger investment and start to snowball it that way. And if you work hard at it, before you know it, you'll be a real estate mogul and it all will have started with a small patch of dirt. Another pro is low maintenance. When you buy land, there's pretty much no work involved. It just sits there until the time is right for you to cash it in or until you decide to use it. You might have to deal with small things, obviously, like uh, keeping the lot free of trash or brush if it's in a residential neighborhood. You will not, however, need to deal with bad tenants, repairs, maintenance, or any damages to a structure. Another pro is lower taxes. Property taxes are much lower for land as opposed to lots with structures. Land can be only a few hundred dollars a year, whereas with a home, we all know it's thousands. These low holding costs are another reason why people love land investing so much. Pro, it can be developed. You can opt to develop the land yourself, adding a residential or a commercial building, uh, depending on how the land is zoned. By creating something where there was once nothing at all, you're creating a ton of value and you will be able to generate tremendous profit renting it out or selling that off. Another pro, you can make it income producing. Many people avoid land because it doesn't bring in an immediate income for you. However, you can find creative ways to make it work. You can, you can lease it to a neighbor so they have more room for their cars or for them to have a children's play area. If it's a larger parcel and if it's allowed, you can lease the land to a hunter or a fisher, if, a fisherman if there's water on the property. You can use the lot uh, for parking during special events if it's in a commercial area. There are a lot of really creative ways that you can make your land generate income for you. So some cons, contrary to what we just said, no income. So no income, it doesn't start with any income unless you get creative. Of course, there are some exceptions um, and most of the time the property will just sit until it's developed or resold. This is why you should look for land in developing areas, selling it when it becomes a more in-demand location. You can use free resources like realtor.com or zillow.com to help gauge and understand the market hotness um, Realtor.com has great data on their website. They have a whole resources section where they'll give you market hotness by zip code level or by county level. So make use of that. Another con is slower appreciation. The value of land doesn't rise as quickly as housing would, depending on your market. The profits you do see will likely be smaller than what you would find with a residential home and that's a big deterrent for a lot of people. So make sure you understand your investing goals and that you are okay with a slower appreciation. Overall, adding land to your portfolio is a very safe and practical choice for new and seasoned investors. It's an excellent way to get into real estate investment as the costs to get started 
are very low in comparison to other types of investments. You should always keep land investment in mind when purchasing Colorado real estate. So if you're interested in Colorado land for sale, you can check out our website, compasslandusa.com to see what listings we have available. Uh, you can always give us a call as well. I'll put a phone number in the description of this video for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and say hello. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel that we will be the very first to know when a new land blog video or property tour video is published. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.